we seek to strengthen our ties because of the shared conviction that has been given, uh, that has given our, our geographical proximity as neighbors and the books of history, culture and common destiny that unite our people and the relationship between South Sudan and Kenya should naturally be a close one. President Uhuru Kenyatta and I have had very fruitful discussions on a broad range of issues spanning from political, economic, and security matters of mutual interest. It is also gratifying to note that we have now agreed on a framework for the engagement on border issues. And technical teams from both countries will soon be, will soon meet to start the process of resolving border related issues. In a world of first changing political dynamics, we are of the view that it is critically important to establish joint mechanisms for political, emerging, international, and regional developments. To that end, I'm going forward. South Sudan and Kenya shall be exchanging views from time to time on issues of mutual interest. We have also reviewed process achieved so far in the implementation of the revitalized agreement on the resolution of the conflict in the Republic of South Sudan. And in this connection, South Sudan has registered once again its profound gratitude to the government and people of Kenya for the sustained support to peace efforts in South Sudan. We are delighted to further note that we have received assurances that the government of Kenya will be exerting uh, additional efforts to bolster the smooth implementation of the peace agreement in South Sudan as a, compl a complement to its already com uh, commendable endeavors within the EGAD framework. The Republic of Kenya remains a big economic gateway to the rest of the world, not only for South Sudan, but for the entire East Africa region, uh, sub-region. In the light of this, we have agreed to undertake arrangements that will further facilitate and promote both South Sudan, uh, Sudan's import and exports, and export trade via the Republic of Kenya. Our discussions also touched upon important infrastructure projects between our two countries and contribute to the regional economic integration. We have also reflected on security challenges facing our region and agreed to intensify joint efforts to address any threat poised by uh, terrorism and transboundary organized crimes. This is what we have agreed upon. Thank you very much, Your Excellency.